Black Nation TV. Black Nation TV. What up, everybody? What's happening? This is your boy. It is I, Rowdy Planka. You are now tuning to Fast News on Black Nation TV. On my right, I have a lovely guest today. But before I spoil the surprise for you, let's just check this out. It's about now. We are the movement. Catch our weekly show. Fashion meets interior architecture with Prime Obsession. Fastness brings you urban expression of the youth culture. Conversations driven by the love of music with your girl Q. Then get front row seats and zoom into our adventures on Thursday. Last, don't miss our weekly updates. We are Black Nation. Pop political. Joburg, my home burgery, and now in my Buneng precinct, covering 30 days in the city. We're just out on the streets trying to actually hear what people think about the exhibition happening upstairs. upstairs. Be more than just a pretty picture maker, you know, be amazing, like change things. Don't just make nice pictures and then it ends there. Like if you can solve a problem with the work that you do, then I feel like you have contributed greatly to a lot of things that are happening. So yeah, that's basically what 30 Days in the City is. I hope I've said everything and that it makes sense. <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to thank the collaborators, um, Andy Leboga, Nozuko Maboma, Lerato Bangeni, Jeffrey Ricotto, Cindy Sonyoni. Cindy is going to be with us today because he is exhibiting in Germany. Kevin, Makonga, Chezo Bande, Shopping to Kulu, Dali Gaga. Like, guys, thank you so much for all of your patience. Thank you for all the work. Like, you guys didn't give me like half ass work, you gave me like top notch, really nice quality work and that is really 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 amazing. Thank you once again for tuning in to Fastness on Black Nation TV. So Renani, thank you for joining us on Fastness and welcome to the Black Nation family. So could you just tell us a bit more about yourself and what you do? So my name is Rendani. Um, I am also known as Miss Blacktop. I'm an illustrated graphic designer. I've just become a curator and yeah, I'm really into this design stuff. Okay, so like tell me, um, what is 30 Days in the City actually about? Okay, 30 Days in the City is a collaborative project between myself and nine other creatives who live and work in Johannesburg. So what I did was I briefed everyone and said to them, guys, listen, um, here's this thing that I want us to do. And if you're game, like, yeah, let's, let's just jump on it. So the brief was to, for a period of 30 days, record how you experience the city, how you interact with the city, using a medium that like you can relate to the most. So if you're an illustrator, then you'll illustrate something. If you're a photographer, then you'll take photographs or something. And yeah, that's basically what the project is made out of. Right, because I kind of noticed how everything was just all black and white. Um, is there a theme for every one of your exhibitions or was that color scheme just based on coincidence? It came in two parts. So the first part was myself and five other people. So this was just the online project. And then we had an extension where I added four more people. So the four other people that were added onto the project, they were given the black and white brief. So they had to do whatever that, that they were doing black and white but I guess the whole black and white thing just happened to be a thing that happened amongst us all you know yeah with regards to your artists um was it all just necessarily based on the street cred portfolio or the actual attributes that they needed to actually showcase their work with 30 days in the city not even like a lot of them are people who I've worked with in the past or I know their their colleagues their their friends, you know, so I just, I gathered them because I really like their style of work and that really just is what made me pick them in particular. Alright, so like, um, is there a limit of the amount of artists that you need or is it one of those the more the merrier type situations? Well, this was my first exhibition that I've ever curated. So, with the first time that we did it, it was just six people. 
and the space that we were looking at exhibiting in, it looked like it was too small to just have six people work in there. So that's how the other four came about. Um, and it was just like easier, the smaller the number, the easier it is to manage everyone's work. And 10 people is a great number to work with, so that, that worked out well. Fair enough, but then okay, um, as uh, the curator and actual founder of such a powerful movement, were there any challenges that you were facing actually getting this exhibition? The admin, oh my mm. gosh, the admin. <laughs> the admin is crazy because you have to like check up on everybody and you're like following everyone and you're always sending all these long emails and you're calling guys up, guys, did you get my email? Please reply to my email, you know? But um, everyone like ended up just like participating and responding and being helpful where they could be. So that made it a little bit easier. Yeah, that is, I think, the most challenging part of this whole thing, yeah. Because I'm um, using Studio X in Maboneng Precinct, part of the actual game plan for your exhibitions, or is it one of the first galleries you got your hands on? I was actually really lucky to be spotted by one of the facilitators of Studio X. At the time, her name is Pomatipa. So she read about the online exhibition and then she contacted me and then she was like, yo, let's do something together. But it would be under Studio X and it just it seemed appropriate because the space worked perfectly for us. Black Nation TV, let's not forget to thank lovely Miss Black Drop for joining us in the studio and having us at her um, exhibition. partners on Black Nation TV, you are more than welcome to subscribe and like our page. It is I, Rowdy Blanca. Take care and keep it easy. Peace. Take care and keep it easy. Peace.